I'm going to pause now um, and introduce uh, Christina Yancey. Are you with us? I am. Hi. Hi there. Welcome. Thanks. Thanks for having me on. We appreciate you joining us today. Uh, what we realized is fleets don't get nearly enough conversation uh, airtime when we talk about transportation around most cities. Uh, and uh, we're hoping you can tell us about yourself and the work that you do around transportation. Sure. Um, well, I work for Republic Services. I am a safety manager. Um, so I'm responsible for several different divisions um, throughout Texas and, and beyond. Um, but we provide waste and recycling services nationwide. Um, so here locally to the Houston area, we have about 18 different divisions. Um, most of those are fleet. Um, we also, of course, run landfills, um, that type of thing. So um, we're truly invested in, in the communities that we're in and, and, you know, have high expectations for our own safety. Um, but ensuring the safety of, of those, you know, that we work with and the areas that we're in. Um, can you give people uh, just a sense of uh, when you talk about a fleet, talking about two trucks, 10,000 helicopters? <laughs> yeah, so um, nationwide, we have about 19,000 vehicles in our fleet. Um, I don't know the specific number to Houston, but um, quite an extensive, you know, operation to keep everyone um, on the road and, uh, you know, making safe decisions every day. So this is a project partner that if we can can bring in as part of the conversation can really make a big difference. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you know, we, we work with many different companies and businesses, um, and then of course with our, our residential communities. Um, yeah, we we can certainly, you know, help make an impact in Vision Zero. Thank you. Um, when I say safe streets, what does that conjure up for you? Oh, safe streets. Um, so safe streets, I think to me is really about um, everyone being able to go on about their day um, and not having to um, be concerned with with safety. Um, we have a saying um, at Republic that everyone goes home um, the way they came to work and that's our true focus and I think that's true for everyone um, in the Houston area, you know, whether we're going to the grocery store or we are going to work ourselves, whatever it is that takes us away from our home throughout the day, um, we should be able to get there and, and do what needs to be done and come back to our families and, um, you know, not have to be concerned with uh, safety incidents or crashes, um, you know, that that includes commuters, it includes um, working out and, you know, bicyclists and pedestrians and, and just being able to be out and be active and away from your home um, without having to give safety a second thought. Excellent. Um, so what can um, fleet companies who have their own vehicles, what would they want to do as part of this conversation? Um, how would they want to talk to us? Um, you know, what what could they offer or what would they ask to make streets safer? Um, well, I think as companies with with fleet vehicles, we really need to take responsibility for our own uh, drivers and our own employees. Um, you know, driver training is a huge piece of what we do um, as a company. It's um, you know, we have programs that not just teach our drivers about the types of incidents that we have, but also how to make um, good decisions in in situations and how to best place their vehicle on the road. Um, we also have uh, training programs that, you know, and information that drivers can take home with them. Um, so, for example, I had a teenage daughter and, um, you know, me learning to drive and the information that we provide to our employees on, you know, just daily driving activities, that's information and skills that can really be taken home, you know, defensive driving courses and, and having those types of programs. Um, I think 
um, you know, technology um, is a big aspect as well. Um, we have event recorders in our vehicles. Um, those event recorders um, actually, when there's a qualifying event, it'll back up a little bit in time. So we get a holistic picture of what occurred. You know, it could be um, a fast brake movement, you know, a, a, a harsh braking or, a, you know, a, a quick turn, um, whatever the incident might be, that allows us to, to really sit down and analyze the bigger picture. Um, it connects to the cameras in our vehicles. Um, and then we can have coaching moments with our drivers and, you know, really uh, look into how things went and what went well in that situation, but also what maybe we could do the next time. So it provides us that opportunity, you know, um, the cameras also um, enable drivers. I, I, I think cameras are a huge piece because, you know, we can have alarms and we can have those um, types, you know, flashing lights and that type of thing. But to really be able to see what's around your vehicle, um, you know, we train things like get out and look. We have, you know, blind spot awareness um, discussions. So um, I really think um, when you're working with fleets, the, you know, the technology and the training piece is key. Um, another aspect of that is we try to work with um, the public and um, we have like a, we have a train, we actually have a, a coloring book for children. You know, kids love big trucks, right? And our, our trash trucks are big trucks. And, and so we, we have high visibility. Um, and so with the children, you know, we're, we're trying to, to encourage them to understand safety um, when you're around big vehicles or, you know, that type of, of program. Um, but mostly, I think vehicles with um, fleet, you know, working with working together um, with companies through like together for safer roads, I think that really enables us to partner and and come together. So, you know, we have other fleet companies like Budweiser, but then there's also, you know, AIG and AT&T who works from you know, a, a technology and awareness of a direct, distracted driving aspect. Um, iHeartRadio has uh, commercials on their, you know, on their um, programs that, you know, try to bring awareness. So I think that's all part of that um, kind of public relationship that we can build. Um, so it's not just the companies, but it's all of us holistically working together. Fabulous. Everybody should know iHeart uh, Media has been a partner with us on this Vision Zero effort. Um, and you may have even heard uh, PSA about these meetings. Um, we're trying to get the word out every way we can. Um, Christine, I wanted to go back to something you said. We talk about education as a key component of Vision Zero. I'm not sure we've given a whole lot of thought uh, to the driver training uh, and kind of revisiting that training that you were just mentioning. Um, I think that sounds like a best practice that we should do some digging on. Yeah, so we um, we spend a lot of time and effort in the training programs that we have for our 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 workforce. Um, we have a program called uh, Focus Together, um, and it looks at the uh, it looks at incident types. It kind of categorizes them into different types, but our our focus training or our focus together training um looks at the events and and really tries to bring the driver to driver aspect um so it's not just a a trainer telling um an individual driver how to make the correct decisions um we're bringing in the drivers and really making it a peer-to-peer -peer effort um as far as training and um the the program the program is a huge success Thank you. Um, and I think I see a question specifically for you in the chat if you're up for one. Sure. Uh, the question is, what are your thoughts on restricting fleet vehicles to lower than the maximum speed limits or banning cell phones in the cabin? And maybe you pick which part of that. That sounded like multi-parter. 
So part of the technology program that I mentioned does give us an idea of not just um, events, but speed around those uh, types of um, uh, events, but it 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 gives us an idea of what was going on holistically. So we know where they were within the city um, and how fast they were going. And um, we regularly have discussions, you know, all of our drivers are required to follow um, posted speed limits, all of the, the street signs, um, you know, and all of the rules of, of just being on the road. Um, but in addition to that, we talk about being, you know, kind of a, a good neighbor and um, making sure that we just kind of allow the traffic um, to kind of go to, to kind of proceed. You know, we don't want to um, try to keep up with anyone. Um, you know, we're really just kind of be in the moment and and follow the rules of the road as you know as they're stated one last question for you is what i ask everybody um what's one of your favorite streets anywhere <sighs> favorite streets anywhere so um i have i i moved to houston from phoenix arizona and i have to say that central avenue in phoenix is one of my absolute favorite streets um, there's just such a life about it and, you know, the, the majestic trees that line the road and there's people, there's walking paths along it. Um, and, and so it's a great place to get out and get some exercise. Um, if you come south on the road, you hit a lot of neat little funky restaurants that, um, you know, are a great place to, to relax and, and get the calories back that you burned off with the exercise. Um, but I did, um, I found a road here in Houston, um, Westheimer, that is actually, I guess, one of the longest roads in the city. Um, and so it goes through different districts um, throughout, um, you know, it runs from downtown all the way out west. Um, but you can feel the different personalities as you're as you're traveling down the road each of the districts has like a different feel to it and you know you hit an area that's more parks and um and that type of of atmosphere and and so it's 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 really a fun road to to kind of cruise down so we'll give a shout out to the bus route the 82 that goes on uh westheimer <laughs> christina thanks so much for joining us tonight well thank you very much for having me